Hello, Sam. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. Welcome back to a dumb raid. Welcome back. Back today. and better than ever. Today, we're going scuba diving with buckets. Tidy Cat's Buckets. The way we've done this is wacky, well, not so wacky as just grossly irresponsible, but essentially we've taken a plastic bucket, we've attached a hose to a compressor yep. to pump positive pressure into the bucket, use that air to prevent the carbon dioxide from building up, and to prevent water from coming into the bucket. We put weights on the bucket, and then we walk around the bottom of a pool or a lake. It's actually really quite cool. There's some interesting math and science behind it, but basically it boils down <laughs> to the fact that a bucket is full of air. Yep. You can breathe that air in, but obviously you'll run out of air rapidly. There's only about 4.1 gallons of air in here, and a human will breathe that up in like 30 seconds or less. So, you need to have a continuous supply of air going into so it. So you don't suffocate. Exactly. We used a 25 PSI or so air compressor to pump that air in. Um, and so it that, works. Yeah, that, the, the hose is at the top, so fresh air disseminates downwards, pushes the carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide out. And it just sort of bubbles out the bottom. Yeah, it sort of comes out and bubbles out the bottom or throughout any cracks that are in there. That's another advantage. Being that it's 25 pounds per square inch of pressure, so um, it prevents the low uh, pressure water from actually coming in through any of the cracks, so your helmet yep. doesn't flood. Uh, and that works down to about 30 feet or so. Um, additionally, um, to keep yourself down, obviously, because if the bucket is full of air, it's going to float. Mm -hmm. To keep yourself and the bucket down, we have attached another bucket to the bucket that wow. we then fill with weights. Double bucket. Double buckets all the way, and that holds the bucket down onto your body. Yep, because if you don't have that, the bucket's just gonna fly off your head and exit the Precisely. top of the water. Then we attach it to a compressor. The compressor is powered by a car battery, so we can take it out on our boat or out anywhere in the lake or, or wherever we oh, want to go. On the ocean? Or... Yeah, on the ocean and uh, maybe not too deep in the ocean. <laughs> and that, <laughs> Mariana's that, Trench. That will provide you with irresponsible, extremely dangerous quasi-scuba diving. Well, not even scuba diving. No. Bud diving. <laughs> <laughs> Breathable air. <laughs> Bre breathing apparatus, rather. Yeah, uh, it's a box with air in it. Scuba stands how many for... other t how many other ways can we say it's a box that pushes air into it's, it? Yeah, I can't. I can't. Scuba is self-contained. This is not self-contained. Yeah, but it is cheap. It's a helmet. Yeah, it's a scuba. It's like those old-fashioned oh, ones. And we even we even got a little gauge in there yep. that reads the pressure, so you can see if the pressure is dropping, then you know that you're not getting enough air through. Yep, because the deeper you go, the higher the pressure should be. Mm -hmm. The water's, the pressure of the water will push down and up into here because it's not a closed bucket. So there. in order to keep that amount of volume stable, we the, need to have an equal have or have greater pressure pushing yep. in. And, uh, yeah. Which I'll can go up to 150 PSI with our current compressor. Yeah. Although... Which, uh, we'll, we will not be going that deep. No. That would require ludicrous depth. But here, we're going to show you yep. how it works, and then maybe later, we'll take it out on the lake. Yes! Oh. Yeah, so I'm using a soldering iron to just melt a channel into these foam blocks. These exactly what this uh, tool is meant for. Exactly, and then that will... I mean, it melts stuff. You're... We're melting. So yeah, this, yeah. this is a kind of solder. Doing it again, wow. This is proper saw. 
Uh, etiquette. Etiquette, yes. That's the etiquette. word. Solid. That was a good one. Go. Oh, put it in Look at that. that. Rope time. That just worked. That's a bit long. I'm gonna cut that in half. Right, right on there. Oh, yeah. <coughs> glue gun should be ready. Oh, yeah. Look yeah. at that. Shooting glue. Shoot. We're ready to glue these babies in. Glue that crevice. It's free not to say that. <laughs> what are you doing? Using a using a screwdriver, screwdriver. to apply force as a, inst instead of getting another glue stick because I don't know where another glue stick is. Combine power of glue and tape at the same time. What's up? A man? No. More than a man. A mammoth. Okay. One small step for man. One giant leap for mammoth kind. For mammoth kind, exactly. Oh, there we go. There he goes. He's underwater. I am under my pool, and um, as you can see, I'm not drowning. Amazing, isn't it? My God! Holy crap, guys! Holy crap, Lois! He's not drowning, and you see those bubbles! Wow! Wow! But as you can see, the beauty of the waves are are mine to behold. Look at that pipe over there. <laughs> we just invented the time capsule like a telescope like like uh, Giovanni he used a telescope he saw the moon and he said I bet that's real way ahead of his time hi hi here my friend whatever the point is um I can be down here as long as I want and I don't know if you can actually hear any of this because we didn't do a water test before this but it's pretty cool. And we here we are, just like that. Uh, Georgie would be proud. And, oh God, it just, oh yeah. Just look at him go, walking. He's just walking. But it works, so that's cool. Let's say hi to Gabe now. He's walking <laughs> like, a, like a true American hero. Gosh. That works surprisingly well. I I can imagine from your perspective, that must have been That was extraordinarily kick-ass. A temporal time loop of fun. I I spent I felt like I spent a long time down there. I don't know how you long that felt. Like a you. minute? Really? It felt like longer than Maybe that. like a minute and a half. Okay. God, why are you just zoomed in so much? Whatever. Gabe's gonna moonwalk. Yeah. Real moonwalk, not that Michael Jackson crap. Yeah. No not kid that. diddling over here. Yeah, no kid, none of that. No, none of that. There we go. Okay. I got the battery. Yep. You got your weights. Good luck out there, soldier. Hasta la pasta. <laughs> I hope that's your last word. <laughs> He's doing pull-ups. <laughs> I am Moon! I am Moon! All right, so we just, uh, we just finished testing the buckets. Both of them. Yeah, <laughs> that, that just well. finished. Yeah. Yeah, well. definitely just finished. Mm -hmm. um, both buckets worked pretty well. We had a nice flow of air. Um, there was no major leaking. Right. Gabe was able to simulate moon gravity, which yeah. is really cool. It was easy doing pull-ups. Really easy. Moon ups. Moon ups. Moon ups. That was a really good one. I'm a genius. Yeah. 
Join us next time, and we'll go into mm -hmm. a lake. And try not to die that time. Yeah. We um, didn't die this time, but we didn't go too far underwater. Science says if it works once, it always works. That's right. No exceptions. Never. To it, any rule. If you can verify it once, it never needs to be re-verified. That's re right. Why do you think um, Newton had so many apples in his life? Yeah. Time? Why do you think that... Maybe, maybe that analogy doesn't apply. Shit, don't tell yourself. Uh, here's some footage of us jumping around the pool together with yep. both buckets on at once. Right. The thing we showed you at the beginning, but the full clip. Spectacular. It's amazing. You get to see all the fun, fun things we did. See you next time. Magic tricks. A dumb braid.